Hello and welcome back to another video from Jabba Campervans. Now I'm here with the Doherty family and they're going to show us around their wonderful Santa camper van. They're going to tell us all about living in the Santa as a family of four, a little bit about where they've been. They'll show you all the accessories they use to make their life in the camper van a lot more enjoyable. Uh, so yeah, we'll jump in. Colin's going to take the, uh, the lead and we'll have a look in his camper van. Hi nice. Steve, you want a tour of the van then? Absolutely. Cool, we'll get a cup of tea going once we're, uh, we're up and going. So, pretty much what we do first, I think everybody will be the same, is we'll get the roof up. So, we've got everything in the van for a weekend away, but it's not much less than what we'd have in a, on a full holiday. So the first thing that we discovered uh, as a family using our van is that you've really got to use every bit of space. So for example, behind the seats is a really fantastic amount of uh, storage in the van. Um, so all the sleeping bags and stuff that we store at the back of the van goes in behind there. So I'm just going to move to the back of the van and start setting up the rear of the van so that we can use the toilet and open up all the facilities so I'll walk around there. Yeah well, what we've got here is a kind of normal car net and we've just got a few extra um, brackets they're actually designed for kayaks and we've got a, a few different so we've got four in this area which allows us to, 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 to create all this storage here and then we've also got these ones here which um, can be used for a, a variety of purposes but we quite often do things like we tie up the poles for our awning or if it's during the, either while we're traveling or even sometimes while we're parked up, we just bring some sort of cheap plastic hangers and we hang them up here and you can keep your towels and everything. So if you can imagine a day like today where it's quite wet and you can't get them hung outside, then at least you've got a kind of temporary storage area at the back of the van. The other thing we do that's really useful uh, is we sometimes take things like these hangers, which have got your tea towels and things, and we go in the van and we hang them up right on the roof using the handles that you put the, the raised roof on. And for the most part, if you kind of put them over the side, they don't actually uh, use up a lot of, lot of room. I'll just open this up so we get a bit more light in here. And one of the first things I'll do then is I'll start unraveling all this. One of the problems was um, when we first got the van, we were thinking, what do we do with all this stuff once we're actually set up for the day? And then we realised that there was a huge amount of um, wasted space when you've actually got the seats turned around at the front, right at the front of the van. So I'll just get this. So some of the, some of the owners of Gerber vans on the forums were talking about Duvalay. So this is one of the, uh, the I think it's the thinner one. Uh, and it's really comfortable and I think actually although we don't have to we could probably fit two in there plus a couple of normal sleeping bags on top and uh, we don't waste any space because inside there is absolutely jam-packed for storage shoe storage bag which actually hooks on here um, in fact uh, the boys in Fiona have already done it so you can see we stuff our sleeping bags underneath the seats. The other thing we also done, which you, you probably didn't catch there, was that on the back of the passenger seats, we've got storage bags, which provide storage for water bottles, headphones, Nintendo switches. They all get in there. It sometimes causes a wee bit of restriction when we're turning this, the, the seats around, but um, that provides everything that the boys need when we're on a, on a long journey. We've managed to store the, the Duvalay and also some shoes and things, so the one we use in the van. So, Josh, do you want to open it up for us? Um, you can see that it's pretty full in there, so we've got a full Dyson vacuum cleaner in there. Because this is the slider seats that we've got in here, because I'm quite tall, uh, we've got the little doors at the front there, which allows us to get access. And we've also got things in there, like our, our breakdown triangle, uh, and our mat for if we go to the beach or if we just got to, want to use the awning outside. Joshua, do you want to show the other understore 
because the, every bit is used. So in that one there, we've got things like laptops. We've got a, an insect uh, um, bug machine. Uh, we've got spare plugs. We've got ropes. The big yellow things we've got at the back there is the plastic tracks, which I've only used once, but it was very useful so that if we get stuck, they, they don't take up a lot of room but they do help you get out if you start having spinning wheels. The only thing we don't routinely take in the van is the levelers. Uh, and that's just because as a family of four, we just absolutely cannot afford the, the, the they take an awful lot of room up. So we might just try and see if we can find a brick or something lying around on the campsite just to kind of put under a wheel. But most of the time we just cope with the, the slight differences in height. So one of the things that we decided early on was that we'd used the um, the Wallace stove. The, the advantage that gives us is that we, we, we don't have the extra trouble of having to deal with um, gas bottles, but it also gives us extra storage space. So for example, the little locker, if you had your, your, your gas set up, then normally your gas bottles would be in there. But in the case of us, what we do is we keep all our things like, um, that's a hose there for the water point. And uh, we actually came across a, a really good company called um, uh, Collapse, who do this really, these really nice uh, collapsible water systems. Again, we're trying to avoid taking up too much room in our van. We, we bought a bunch of their stuff. Uh, it's got a little stand so it can sit on your worktop uh, in a sort of little hose that you can use for filling things up. So it's a, it's a really good arrangement. Again, trying to keep storage to the absolute minimum. The other thing we keep in here is a little um, portable power pack. That just gives us um, a little inverter for uh, AC, which could charge a laptop, um, USB and uh, 12 volts. And sometimes it's more convenient for us if we're filling the water tank just to plug into this at the back of the van if you've got a bucket of water. So one of the things that we found really useful when we got our, our van was to try and make the most of the the storage in the wardrobe. How we organise this is we you have these grey crates that you can see there. Um, basically we have one crate each. They pretty much, the four of them fit in. The great thing about the crates is that we can pack them up at home and then just on the, if it's a Friday night that we're going away, just carry them out and they just fit nice in the van. So obviously things like, we've got the, um, the sun canopy. Uh, just this, we just got, what we did was, in order to make it easier to store, uh, we put the nice soft material part just strapped onto the, the straps at the back of the van. Uh, and then we carry the poles, which I, I just took out, but the, the poles just literally are strapped together. And then either we tie them up here when we're traveling or we just have them lying at the back of the van. But that's, we always have the, the little canopy. If we were out for a much longer journey, then we would quite often have our pull out awning um, that we can, uh, sorry, our drive away awning that we can, we can leave. In a camper van this size where you're trying to absolutely maximize the, the function, but without increasing your size, um, it was, a, it was a, pretty much a no-go to go for full-size furniture, especially since if you can imagine a, a wet day You'd, uh, all four of us are in here, we're maybe, you know, using it, playing a game or stuff. You still need to be able to up and move here, so it's, there's no way you can store something in the main area of the van. But by just thinking about all the different storage areas you've got in the, the gerber, like for example, underneath the fridge there, we've now got these uh, four seats that we can use outside. The other thing that we quite often carry is a very compact little electric heater by Camper. And it's not really... Um, it's not something that we really need because the, the Wallace is actually very good, but it's incredibly useful um, if we just want to save using our diesel. We can just have an little electric one plugged into the site's power and that's actually really good and a nice compact one. And that fits in there alongside of our um, chairs. We used to create a similar crate system underneath our... Um, uh, where we store all our food and things. So if I open it up, you can see that we've got these crates full of all our food and they, they just slide out and in with some room for some bigger items. We usually, we usually always carry 
um, a foldable bucket so that we can take the dishes up. Uh, and in case we're on a site where we don't have any dishwashing facilities, we also carry one, one of these. It's a Joseph Joseph sink. One of the benefits of this is when you're, when you're traveling, it obviously acts just as another box. Um, but when you get to a campsite, uh, you can fill it up and it's actually got like a, a drain point in the bottom of it So you can fill it up wash it underneath the back of the van We've got a hose point at the back there so we can keep topping it up with the cold water And then when you're finished you can go somewhere and then you can just open the drain and it all drains out We tend to use these cups when we're in the van and this is partly just to try and reduce the amount of spillages that we get in the van So it's a sealed cup. It's really good. It's made of recycled plastic um, you'll see them uh, in some of the outdoor places. Again, going on the compact front, we've got a set um, of pots from GSI. It's got plates in it. It's got two big pots. It's got a handle for holding them. Uh, there's a static photo I can show you on the Wallace of them using the last night. Um, bowls. We've got the famous Omnia oven which if anybody's never seen it, works on top of the, the Wallace. Um, so it's a really good way of having almost like a mini oven yeah. for free on your, on, your, on your Wallace. So you just stick it on there. Um, that, that plate sits on top of the Wallace, it gets quite hot, it's got a vent in the middle of it. And the vent comes up and allows the hot air to, to go round it. And you can put your baked potato on it or your croissant on few minutes and uh, they're all ready so it's that's that's the oven for the um, and just again a couple of last items that we use the good old ridge monkey which if uh, no one's seen here I think it might have been Gerba that recommended one of them and it allows you to uh, fry your your bacon and close it up the, the one thing I really like about the ridge monkey is is if you're frying something and you don't want your stove to get completely covered in fat and things like that, you can always close the, the lid on it. So that's our cooking arrangement. So, I mean, pretty much this is our uh, arrangement. I mean, we've had some pretty wet days where we've had to spend a lot of time in the van and um, we, we managed fine. But this is also arrangement that we'd have for um, dinner time as well. So. We usually give the boys the fixed table just to give them a bit more room, hopefully less mess. And we, Fiona and I, usually use this table. Uh, and we find, um, as much as sometimes it very occasionally gets in the way, it's actually really good um, having the table there. At least we, the, the four of us then can have a, a meal or a drink um, here in the van. So the, the van has acted as a, as a home office on a number of occasions as well um, and there's enough room on the big table to get a, pretty much a full board board game out as well if we want to yeah i think we've managed six people for a meal yes mm. six people yeah <laughs> yeah we've managed to get one of our little chairs outside down the the corridor and um sort of two people perched on one of these bigger chairs and uh, yeah so a little bit crushed but we've managed it on a few occasions so yeah. Um, but yeah it's definitely a lovable it can get a little bit compact at um, times but um, well, it's like on rainy days on rainy days but um, it's it's good <laughs> that's living family in a life. family life the van will always get messy which is why we also bring the hoover and various cloths for cleaning up the van um, but this is our arrangement in the evenings we quite often set up a laptop over there and uh, we can sit and watch a movie here together as well um, I think we even talked about getting a projector at one point but that hasn't happened yet so. <laughs> I think that'd be pretty hard. One of the things I was um, going to show you was um, how we set up our bed arrangements So do you two want to head upstairs? You can take your shoes off though So we'll try and do this within the context of not actually leaving the van so you can see that it is possible to do What? Yep, that's fine, we'll just move it a little bit. Okay. 
one thing that I really like about the the sun arrangement like this is that there's absolutely plenty of room. I mean, I'm six foot and you can quite see there, six foot three actually, that I have no trouble lying the full length in the van. It's absolutely, it's absolutely fine. But I think the thing that's really, really good um, about the bed arrangement downstairs is there's a corridor here in the middle, which means that you can store stuff underneath the seats. And probably the, the best thing is you can still use the toilet in the back of the van. So for example, Fiona and I can sit down here, even when we're sit here, you can leisurely sit here, you can sit with a drink. You're all nice and cozy because you've got your curtains all around, you get your lights on, you get spotlights on, everything's nice. The boys are upstairs. Um, they might play games, they might listen to an audiobook for a little while they can settle down and we've still got all this usable space here. And then if you come round the, do you want to come round the back of the van? The, the, the roof's down, the boys are up there, but we've still got all this usable space at the back here, which gives you room for getting dressed uh, and critically so that you can use the toilet. So at night time, especially, um, you don't want to have to, so we've got the toilet set up and if the boys want to come down and use the toilet at night, they just climb down here, use it, we use it. Um, if we want to make a cup of tea in the morning while they're upstairs playing video games, we can go here, get the kettle on, fill up, sit back down and have a leisurely um, morning. And, and I really think that's one of the, um, the, the real advantages of the, the sauna arrangement, especially if you've got a a family, you've still got a fully working bathroom essentially area, wash area, there's a sink right there so you can wash your hands um, and you can lie here leisurely in the morning, um, you don't need to rush out of bed just because the kids are coming down. So we've got the um, we've got the net up there as well, we partly got that a bit to stop their pillows falling down but also um, it gives us a little bit more privacy as well so um, so that's the real image. The other nice, uh, the nice feature that we like are the um, uh, the sauna arrangement is that we've been doing a lot of um, renovation work at home recently and the sauna gives a, that unique uh, feature of it's got this massive clear area right up the middle which means if you're carrying lots of bits of wood from your DIY store or big sheets of plywood or, um, or plasterboard and that you can still fit them in or you're doing a big trip to Ikea you've got this whole space here you can fill right up to the ceiling. Oh, well I hope you've enjoyed the tour of our van Lily um, and I hope that for a family of four out there that it's inspired you to look at the possibility of using a, a VW style van and the practicalities of actually fitting a, fa a family of four in it. The, you know, you can fit a lot of things into a small space um, and you've still got a van that can fit in a, a supermarket car park. So thanks for watching.